చేతదర్పణమార్జున భవ మహాదావాగ్ని నిర్బాపణం శ్రేయ కైరవ చంద్రికా వితరణం విద్యావధు జీవనం ఆనందాంబుతి వర్ధనం ప్రతిపదం పూర్ణామృతాస్వాదనం సర్వాత్మ సపనం పరం విజయతి శ్రీకృష్ణ సంకీర్తనం ఆల్ గ్లోరీస్ టు ది సంకీర్తన మూమెంట్ పరం విజయతి శ్రీకృష్ణ సంకీర్తనం లార్డ్ చైతన్య మహాప్రభు ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ ఎ గో ఇన్ నవద్వీప్ at the age of 16 years only, a boy of 16 years, he introduced this movement, Sankirtan movement. <coughs> Not that he manufactured some uh, religious system, just like nowadays there are so many religious systems have been manufactured. <coughs> Actually, religion cannot be manufactured. Dharmantu sākṣād bhagavat pranītam. Religion means the codes of God, the laws of God, that's all. Just like you cannot live without obeying the state laws, similarly you cannot live without obeying the laws of God. And in the Bhagavad-gītā, the Lord says, yada-yadāhi dharmasya glāni bhavati. Whenever there is discrepancies in the process of religious uh, prosecution of religious uh, activities, yadā-yadāyi dharmasya glāni bhavati abhuthānam adharmasya. And there is predominance of irreligious activities. tadātmānam sijāṁ maham. At that time, Krishna, the Lord says that I appear. That is the way. The same principle, just like as soon as there is disobedience of state laws, uh, there is advent of some particular state officer or the governor or the state man takes to take step and to set things right. That is the way. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, He is worshipped by the Goshamins and there is a verse written by Rupa Goswami, one of his principal disciples. There were six Goshamins, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, uh, Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, uh, Srijiv Goswami, uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami, and Sri Raghunath Das Goswami. All of them were Goswamins. Goswamins means, Go means uh, senses. There are three meanings of Go. Go means land, go means cow, go means senses. So Goswami, they were Goswami means they were master of the senses. Shami, Shami or Goswami, the same category. Goswami is more explained. Shami, Shami means master. So, When one becomes master of the senses, Goswami, he can make progress in the spiritual life. That is the meaning of Swami. Swami does not mean that he is servant of the senses. 
Swami means master of the senses. Goswami. So they were all Goswamis. And one of the Goswamis, Rupa Goswami, was the head. Uh, so he compiled one nice <coughs> verse in respect of honoring Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He says, Anarpita charing chirat karunayavatir na kalo samat paetam unnata ujjalara sang savakti sriyam hari purata sundara dhuti kadamma shandi pitaha sadari dayakandari svurathu bah sachinandana. He is blessing the people in general that this incarnation of God, Krishna, Anarpita charing chirat karunaya avatirna kalau. Kalau means this age, this age of Kali, which is very much contaminated, or the age of quarrel and disagreement. This is called Kali, age of Kali. So Rupa Goswami says this in this age of Kali, where everything is disagreement and quarrel, <coughs> you have descended to offer the highest, topmost love of God. Samarpayatum unnata ujjala rasā. Not only topmost, but very brilliant ras, uh, transcendental, mellow, humor. Uh, Anatpita chiring jirat karunayavati na kalo samar payatam annatu jalara sang sabhakti syam. Hari purata sundara dhuti. As your complex and is just like golden, nature of gold. gold. So you are so kind. So I bless everyone, Goswamis. They can bless because they are master of the senses that this form of the Lord, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, may always remain dancing in your heart. Another place, when Rupa Goswami first met Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Prayag, uh, Lord Chaitanya was dancing on the street, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, at that time also he offered one prayer. Namo Mahavadana Krishna Prema Pradayat. Oh, you are the most munificent of all incarnation because you are distributing love of God, Krishna Prema Pradayat. Krishna ya Krishna Chaitanya Namini Gaurati Sino. You are Krishna Himself because without being Krishna you cannot distribute Krishna Prem. A love of God, a love of Krishna is not so easy thing. But you are distributing freely to everyone. So this Sankirtan movement was <coughs> inaugurated in Bengal, in India, and in Navadip. So, uh, in this sense, the Bengalis are very fortunate that in their country this movement was inaugurated by Lord Chaitanya and he predicted that those who are Bengalis here present, they will understand. Prithivite ache jato nagaradi gram. Sarbattar prachar hai vemorna. He predicted that the, as many villages and towns there are all over the world, everywhere this Sankirtan movement will be preached. That is his future prediction. So, by the grace of Lord Chaitanya, this movement is already 
uh, uh, was introduced in the Western countries beginning from New York. Our first movement, the Sankirtan movement, was introduced in New York. I came in New York first. And I began to chant this Hare Krishna mantra in the Tomkinson Park. In the Tomkinson Park or Square? Tomkinson Square. So this, I was chanting there for three hours uh, with a little, small uh, mridanga. And these boys, American boys, uh, they assemble and gradually they join. And it is increasing. The first of all, it was started in New York in a storefront, 26 Second Avenue, then we started our branch in San Francisco, in Los Angeles, in Santa Fe, in Buffalo, and then here uh, we have got now 20 branches, including one in London and one in Hamburg. And in London, uh, the boys, they're all American boys, American boys and girls, they're preaching, they're not Sannyasi, neither they are Vedantist, uh, neither they are Hindus, neither they are Indian, but they have taken this movement very seriously. Uh, here one uh, lady from London, she has come, uh, she was very much praising about that movement. And uh, in London Times there was an article, they said that Krishna chanting startles London. So we have got many uh, followers now. All my disciples still now, at least in this country, they are all Americans and Europeans. Uh, they are chanting, dancing, uh, they are issuing paper back to Godhead. Oh. Now we have published so many books, Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita as it is, teachings of Lord Chaitanya. So this movement is not like that, it is a sentimental movement. Don't think that these boys are dancing in some religious sentiment or fanaticism. No. We have background. We have background, highest philosophical and theosophical, whatever you like, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, while he was preaching, he went to Benaras. So Benaras is the seat of uh, Mahavadi Sannyasis, the followers of uh, Shankaracharya, they are mostly uh, seen in Banaras, Baranasi. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there, he was chanting and dancing. So some of the people, they become very much appreciative of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's dancing and chanting. And there was a big sannyasi, Prakashananda Saraswati, leader of Oh, many thousands of Mahavadi sannyasis. So somebody went to him and said, Oh, from uh, Bengal, one young sannyasi has come. Oh, he is so nicely chanting and dancing. So Prakashananda Saraswati, he was a great Vedantist, he did not like the idea. He said, Ah, he is a pseudo sannyasi, he is chanting and dancing. This is not the business of sannyasi. This is the, the sannyasi should always engage himself in the study of philosophy and Vedanta and is simply chanting and dancing. So he remarked that he is a pseudo-sannyasi, he is not actual sannyasi. 
Then one of the devotee, uh, he did not like the idea, remark of Prakashananda Saraswati. He came back and um, informed Lord Chaitanya that uh, uh, these people are blackmailing. I cannot uh, tolerate this. So if something can be done to stop this blackmailing, so that's a long history. So one devotee, he arranged the meeting of all the sannyasins, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was also invited, and there was Vedanta philosophical discussion between Prakashananda Saraswati and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. These description and philosophical discussions are given in our teachings of Lord Chaitanya, and it is uh, very nice that Prakashananda himself with his all his disciples they became Vaishnava. The idea is similarly Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had a great discussion with Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya, the greatest logician of that time. He was also Mayavadi, impersonalist. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement is not sentimental. People think that this is a sentimental movement. No. We have got a very good background. If one wants to understand this Sankirtan movement through philosophy and learning and logic, oh, there is ample opportunity. It is not sentimental. It is based on science and based on authority of Vedas. But it is simplified. That is the that is the beauty of this movement. Either you are great scholars or philosopher, or either you are a child, just like this child. Everyone can take part. Uh, without any difficulty, any system of self-realization, either jnana process or yoga process or any process, they are also recognized. But they are not possible to be practiced in this age. That is not possible. Uh, that is the verdict of the Vedas. Uh, Kite jadhyato vishnu tetang jajato makhai dapare parichajyang kalautad harikirtana. In the Satya Yuga, it was possible to execute the meditation process. Just like Balmiki Muni, he meditated for 60,000 sub years to get perfection. So, where is your age? Besides that, that process, meditation process as described in the Bhagavad Gita, you have to select a secluded place, you have to be executed alone, you have to sit down in such a posture, you have to completely lead a life of celibacy, so many rules and regulations. So Ashtanga Yoga meditation, that is not possible. But if you are satisfied by doing some imitation, that is different thing. But if you want right perfection, then you have to execute all the different, I am going to say, uh, stages of yoga practice, ashtanga yoga. There are eight divisions, dhyan, uh, dharana, asana, pranayam. So if it is not possible, then it is a waste of time. What is the ultimate goal of yoga process or meditation? To contact the Supreme, the Super Soul, the Supreme Lord. That is the aim and object of yoga process. Similarly, uh, philosophical research, jnana process, that is also the aim is to understand Supreme Brahma, realize Brahma. So they are recognized process undoubtedly. But According to authoritative description, they, those processes are not practical in this age. Therefore, one has to take 
to this process of Hari Kirtan. Anyone can take without any pre-qualification. You haven't got to study philosophy or Vedanta. Uh, this Vedanta philosophy was very much discussed between Prakashananda Saraswati. Uh, Prakashananda Saraswati asked, first of all, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that I understand that you are a very good scholar in your previous life. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually was a very great scholar. His name was Nimai Pandit. And at the age of sixteen years old, he defeated one great scholar from Kashmir, case of Kashmir. So you are a great scholar. So Prakashananda Saraswati asked him that I understand that you are a great scholar, Sanskrit scholar, and especially in logic you are a very good scholar, and you are now sannyasi, you were born in a Brahmin family. How is that you are chanting and dancing without reading Vedanta? This was the first question made by Prakashananda Saraswati, and he replied, Yes. Oh. The thing is that when I was initiated by my spiritual master, he said that you are full number one. You don't discuss Vedanta. Simply will spoil your time. Please take to this chanting Hare Krishna and you will be successful. That was his reply. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was not a fool. But Vedanta is not for fool. It requires sufficient education, sufficient status. Then one can understand Vedanta. In each and each code, each word, there are volumes and meaning. And there are many commentations. Ah, commentary by Lord uh, Sankaracharya, commentary by Ramanucharya, commentary by big, big volumes in Sanskrit language. So how one will understand Vedanta? Uh, it is not possible. It may be possible for one person or two person to understand what is Vedanta. But for the mass of people it is not possible. Neither it is possible to practice yoga. Uh, therefore, this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's method, chanting Hare Krishna, he says the first installment of gain will be Chaitanya Dharpana Mahajanam. All the dirty things from your heart will be cleansed simply by chanting. You chant, there is no expenditure, there is no loss. But as we are chanting, if you kindly chant, if just do it for one week and you see how much you progress in spiritual knowledge. Uh, we are getting many students simply by chanting. They are understanding the whole philosophy. They are giving up their bad habits. They are becoming purified. So many things. They are practical. Oh. This, uh, this society movement is started uh, practically not more than two years, uh, 1966. Uh, and we have got so many branches, the American boys and girls, they are taking it very seriously and they are very nicely. They are following all rules and regulation, and they are happy. Uh, they ask any one of them. So this is practical. Chetu dharpana marjana. Cleansing the dirty things from the heart. Simply by chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Ram. Yes. And the next thing is that Bhava Mahadavagni Nid Bhapana. As soon as your heart is clean of all dirty things, then the, all the problems of material existence immediately solved. Bhava Mahadabhagni. It has been compared with Dabhagni. Dabhagni means the blazing fire in the forest. Uh, in this material existence, nobody wants unhappiness, but it comes force, by force. That is the law of material nature. Uh, nobody wants that there may be fire, but especially in this country, wherever in a city we go, uh, the fire brigade is always active, you see. Nobody wants fire, but the fire brigade is active, yes. There is fire. 
similarly, nobody wants so many things. Nobody wants death, there is death. Nobody wants disease, there is disease. Nobody wants old age, oh, there is old age. Against my will, against my desire. Uh, we should have to uh, uh, think that what is the status of this material existence, this human form of life, is meant for understanding. Uh, the human form of life is not meant for uh, uh, wasting the valuable life like cats and dogs in the matter of eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. That is not advancement of civilization. The Bhagavad says that this body is not meant for working very hard simply for sense gratification. No. Nāyaṁ deha deva bhājaṁ niloke kastāṁ kāmāṁ arhati birbhujaṁ je. To work very hard and have satisfy oneself by sense gratification, that is the business of the hogs or dogs, not for human beings. The human being, tapa, they should learn, tapasya. And especially in India, ah, so many great sages, so many great kings, and so many brahmacharis, sannyasis, they pass their life in great tapasya, not to go further, just see Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha was a prince. He gave up everything and he engaged himself in tapasya. This is life. Ah, King Bharat Maharaj, under whose name India is called Bharat Barsha, in twenty-four years, when he was eight years, uh, twenty-four years old, he gave up his kingdom, he gave up his young wife, young children, and went for tapasya. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was only twenty-four years, he gave up his young wife, mother, everything. There are various, many, many examples. Uh, India's land of tapasya, but we are forgetting that. Uh, we are forgetting, now we are making it the land of technology. Uh, it is surprising that India has gone uh, so down, forgetting its tapasya. The land of tapasya, the land of dharma, uh, dharma kshetri, kuru kshetri, dharma kshetri. So it is not only in India, everywhere, in these days, uh, everything is degraded, uh, degraded in this sense. Prayana kalo vasvin alpo The duration of life is diminished. They are not very much active to understand what is self-realization. And if they are some, but some, some of them are very much active, he uh, is misled by so many misleading so-called leaders. So the, the age is very corrupt. Therefore, this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's process of chanting Hare Krishna is the best method and the simplest method. Uh, uh, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kevalam. Kevalam. There is no other alternative. Uh, in the Agni Puran, this verse appears. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kevalam. Three times. Simply chanting Hare Krishna, chanting Hare Krishna, kevalam, only. You cannot offer any other alternative. No, only. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kevala, Kalo, in this age, Nasteva, 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 Gati, Rannatha. There is no other alternative for Self-realization except this. So we have to accept. There is another version in Simad Bhagavatam. Parikhit Maharaj was instructed by Sukhdev Goswami. He described the faults of this age. There is in the twelfth canto, third chapter, you will find. Everything is now being corroborated, what is described in five thousand years ago. So in that conclusive portion, Sukhdev Goswami says, Kalau doso nidhe rajan yasti eko mahanaguna, my dear king, 
this age, Kali, is full of faulty things, but there is one good opportunity. What is that? Kitna Deva Krishna Sa Mukta Sangha Parang Simply by chanting this Hare Krishna mantra, one becomes liberated and he goes back to God and back. So, this is practical, this is authorized, and you can yourself test also how you become advanced, simply by chanting. So this Krishna consciousness movement is nothing, no, it is not a new thing that we have introduced or manufactured, no. It is authorized ah, on the Vedic principle, authorized by acharyas like oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all other acharyas. So you join us, you will be happy. Your human life will be sublime. And the method is very simple. There is no loss. We are not charging anything that you give me fee, I shall give you some secret mantra and within six months you shall become God. No. It is open for everyone. Even child, even woman, girls, boys, old, everyone can take it and chant it and see the result. That is our request. So this Krishna conscious movement is universal movement. I would request you uh, to join. We have got branches here. We are uh, chanting daily twice, especially we are holding meetings on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And you try to understand, we have got, not that we are sentimentalists, we have got books, philosophy, everything. So please join and take advantage of it. That is our request. Thank you very much. Yes. We are not only establishing new Vrindavan, but there is new Navadhi, new Jagannath Puri. Yes. We have already started new Jagannath Puri in San Francisco. The Rathajatra festival is going on. And this year there will be great ceremony of Rathajatra in London. There will be three cars, Jagannath, Subhadra, and Balaram, and it will be taken to the riverside, Thames. So this American land, they have imported New England, New York. Why not New Vrindavan? So you should all join. Those who are Indians, they should join this movement especially uh, to establish this new Vrindavan. Uh, because Lord Chaitanya recommended Aradhu Bhagavan Brajasa Tanayam. Tanaya. The uh, Brajasa Tanaya, Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj, in the Vrindavan Dham, or Brajabhumi, he is the supreme worshipable deity. Tadhyamam Vrindavana. And his place, Vrindavan, is also worshipable. So these Western <coughs> boys and girls, they are taking to Krishna consciousness, so they should have a place like Vrindavan. So here is present our Swami Krishnananda. He went to Vrindavan with me uh, two years ago, and he has taken the idea, what is Vrindavan? So I have instructed him that he, he should construct at least seven temples. In Vrindavan there are five thousand temples, not one, two. Five thousand temples of Radha Krishna. But the most important temples are seven, established by the Goshans. So our program is uh, to live there depending on agriculture and cow. Uh, 
cow protection and agriculture. That should be the economic solution. And peacefully be in Krishna consciousness, chant Hare Krishna. That is the Vrindavan scheme. Juktaharu viharasya jugu bhavati siddhita. Uh, this human form of life is not meant for increasing artificial needs. We should be satisfied just to maintain the body and soul together and balance time we should save for enhancing our Krishna consciousness, our spiritual consciousness, so that after this body we haven't got to take another material body, but we go back to home, back to God. That should be the uh, motto of human life. Uh, another thing I may inform you in this connection, that when I first came to New York, uh, one big man in India, I mean rich man, Sar Padampa Singhania of Kanpur. He, I, I had correspondence that Singhania ji, if you give me some money, I can construct a temple here of Radha Krishna. So he was ready. He said that, Samiji, whatever amount you want, I can give, provided the government gives sanction. So I, I had correspondence, many correspondence with the government, but they did not give me sanction. But here at the embassy, they, they have given me sanction that you can raise funds from the residents in America and construct temple. So you are so many Indians, if you help me, I can construct temples everywhere. Oh. Uh, we have got many uh, assistants. Uh, of course the American rich men, they are not coming. Uh, the, the boys and girls who have joined me, they are very not rich, but very sincere. They are working and maintaining the twenty centers. We have got uh, good expenditure, you know, it is America. Uh, sometimes in a, uh, we have to spend two thousand uh, dollars in every center. And so Krishna is giving us opportunity. Uh, although there is no temple, but we have, uh, I mean, it's our own temple, but temples we have got everywhere. We have got our deity, Jagannath, Radha, Krishna, they are being worshipped nicely, and we are offering uh, prasadam. Every Sunday we are distributing prasadam. So the system is going on. Uh, especially if you go to Los Angeles, you have got the biggest temple there. Uh, at least daily, fifty, sixty, person are taking prasadam. On a Sunday there are guests, more than one hundred. Uh, they are taking part. Uh, it is going on nicely. Uh, similarly, we will have in every place. So that foretelling, prediction of Lord Chaitanya, prithivite ache jata nagaradi gram, that time has come. Let us cooperate and distribute this nice thing, Hare Krishna movement. People will be happy. Place in the movement for the drug addicts, the new class which is coming. Yes, our students are forbidden not to accept any kind of intoxication. They do not drink even tea or coffee or they do not smoke. What to speak of other things? That is our first condition to become disabled. No illicit sex life, no intoxication, no meat eating, no gambling. These four things must be there. Otherwise, you don't accept anyone as disciple. Because for an average American, a man in the street who doesn't know the, what Hinduism is, he thinks. Uh, this is Hinduism. Probably this is a meeting of hippies going on here. Yeah. 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 Hippies they, who are coming in our task, they are giving up all these things, even. Because they are not guided, uh, misguided. They are seeking after something better, but there is no leader. But this movement will give them relief. 
to everyone. Uh, we are uh, anyone who comes to us for initiation. Our first condition is that there should be no illicit sex life, no boyfriend, girlfriend, no. Uh, just beg, get yourself married. Uh, Although I am sannyasi, I have no connection with this marriage, but I do it for the sake of my disciples, just to settle them nicely. So all the boys and girls are being married. Uh, in Boston, while I was coming, there was three couples married. So they are living peacefully. There is no intoxication. They do not smoke even tea, do not take even tea or coffee. And they are taking nice prasadam every day. They are happy, they are healthy and chanting Hare Krishna. That's all. Could I ask the question? Yes. Uh, is there a basic conflict between a spiritual life and material living? Um, how does the philosophy No. Material life means material life means eating, sleeping, mating and defending. This is material life. And spiritual life means something more than this. Just like animal life or human life. Animal life, the common formula is eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. A dog also eats, a man also eats. A man also sleeps, and a dog also sleeps. The man also have sex life, and the dog also has sex life. The dog also defends in his own way, and man also defends in his own way. Maybe atomic bomb, that is a difference. But the defense, defense measure, these four principles are common between human being and animal. So advancement of these four principles is not human civilization, that is animal civilization. That is not human civilization. And human civilization means that Athata Brahma Jigyasa, the Vedanta Sutra says. The Vedanta Sutra first aphorism is Athata Brahma Jigyasa. Now it is the time for inquiry about the Brahma. That is human life. Without this inquiry, there is animal life. So that is material uh, life, and uh, so long one is not spiritually inquisitive. Jigyasu, se uttamam. He is animal. Because he has got only these four principles eating, sleeping, waiting, and depending. That's all. He must be inquisiting what I am. Why I am put into this uh, miseries of life, birth, death, old disease. Is there any remedy? These things should be questioned. Then it is human life, then it is spiritual life. Athat Brahma Jigyasa. This is the beginning of Vedanta. Brahma Jigyasa. One should be inquisitive to understand what is Brahma. That is spiritual life. So our uh, Vedic system was so nicely designed that automatically one will be elevated to the understanding of Brahma. This caste and their caste system is by condemned because they have been vitiated by designing person. Actually, caste system, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Chatur Bhannangamaya system gunakarma vibhagasa. They, according to division of qualities, there are caste system everywhere. Goodness, passion, and ignorance, these three qualities are working in the material nature. The persons who are in goodness, they are called Brahmins. Not that birth. Krishna does not say by birth. Chatur Bhannang Maya Sistam Guna Karma Vibhagasa. There is no question of birth. Simply by quality. By quality, the division is everywhere. An intelligent class of men, administrative class of men, productive class of men, and laborer class of men. This is Brahman, Sudra, that's all. So everything should be taken scientifically, human, that is human 
civilization and human life, otherwise animal life. Uh, spiritual life means in your human life, and material life means animal life. That's all. So we have to make adjustment, as it is recommended in the Bhagavad Gita, yukta haro biharashtra. It does not mean because I am going to be spiritual man, I shall give up eating. No, not that. But my eating should be adjusted. These things are described in the Bhagavad Gita. What, what uh, class, uh, class of foodstuff is first class in goodness, and what class of foodstuff in the uh, passion, third class in ignorance. So we have to raise ourselves in the goodness plat- platform of human civilization, then uh, revive our transcendental consciousness or Krishna consciousness. These things are everything is there in the shastras. Unfortunately, do not concern. Evang prasanna manasu bhagavad bhakti yogata bhagavad tattva vijyanam mukta sangasya jayat. Unless one is liberated from the clutches of these three modes of material nature, uh, he cannot understand what is God. Prasanna manasu. He must be a Brahma realized soul. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, Nasochati Nakanka. These things are there. So uh, you should take advantage of these uh, shastras and preach. That is the responsibility to the Indian. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, Bharat Bhumite Manusya Janma Hailaja, Janma Sartha Karikaro Paropaka. Anyone who has taken his birth in India as human being, he should learn all these shastras, make his life successful and distribute this. That is the responsibility of India. This is the Indian son of Lord Chaitanya. Bharat Bhumi te Manusya Janma Hilaja. So Bharat Bhumi is not, uh, to take birth in India is not an uh, ordinary thing, you must know, but you should utilize the opportunity. That utilization you should read, study, understand volumes of Vedic literature. And you should distribute the knowledge to the rest of the world. The rest of the world they know God is great, but they do not know how great is God. That we will find in the Vedic literature. And that is our duty. Uh, that is kirtan, hari kirtan, parang vijayati sri krishna sankirtana, to glorify. So I shall specially request our Indian uh, nationals to join this movement and distribute the knowledge. I am doing it now alone. And if you join, it will be great uh, help to this movement. Try to understand. <coughs> we understand from the newspaper that there is a temple which has been started in the eastern 20th street. Can somebody tell us by what stage it is? In New York? Here in Columbus. We read the newspaper. Oh, yes. That is our temple. Our temple, yes. So you come and say, that is just uh, started for the last few weeks only. <coughs> yes. But we have got very nice temples in Los Angeles, in New York, in San Francisco. We saw the one in Montreal. In Montreal also. Uh, you saw me there? Yeah, we saw last year, in April. Last year, uh, no, in, uh, I think in June I was there. Montreal also you have got, and Vancouver you have got. Uh, so as these boys are growing, so we are starting. Bala bari dukha khande. When the children are grown up, the fathers and labor diminishes. 
So, all right, chant Hare Krishna. Please join with us.